Hello and welcome to another video. Today I want to talk about the topic, what if one teacher says you are a baritone and the other teacher says you are a tenor? And what if one teacher says you are a soprano and the other one says you are a mezzo? What if you get conflicting opinions when it comes to like what voice type you are? Let's talk about today why neither of them is wrong. In case you don't know me yet, my name is Freya Casey. I'm a professional singer and vocal coach from Germany. I get this a lot. A lot of you are confused because one teacher says one thing and another teacher says another thing when it comes to your voice type. And you're confused. What are you? Here's why neither of them are wrong, is wrong. So for example, let's say one teacher told you you are a soprano and they started you out singing soprano repertoire. They wanted you to sing hi. I'm gonna quote someone who recently wrote an email to me and she said, uh, when I sing soprano and I try to sing high, it's really, really hard to sing high. However, when I try to sing mezzo and the other teacher said I'm mezzo, I should sing more low and I wanted to avoid the high stuff, that also does not feel right. And it feels like my head voice and my chest voice, should I not even use head voice when I'm singing? Uh, should I just do mezzo and alto repertoire and not even use head voice? Should I just use chest voice? Uh, what is the deal here? And here's why neither teacher is wrong. Now, first of all, of course, you will always need to use all of your registers. It is wrong just to stay in one register all the time. You will need both mechanisms in order to sing through your entire vocal range. That's just the nature of it. And that's how our vocal track is made. Uh, the lower parts of your voice will work in chest voice. And then when you get too high, you will have to switch over into head voice. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter what voice type you are. At some point, you will probably need your head voice. So don't neglect either side of your voice. Also, as a soprano, you will definitely need your chest voice at some point when you're singing lower and you want to have some power in your voice. Otherwise, your head voice Voice is just not going to go down that much. Now, here's the thing. Depending on how long you have been training, we have to kind of see where you're at and where you can develop. If you are a complete beginner, a lot of times you will be started out kind of in the middle somewhere. So that means for men, you will be categorized as a baritone. So you will sing a repertoire that is neither too high nor too low. The same goes for women. You will be categorized as a mezzo-soprano so that you don't have to sing repertoire that goes way too high or way too low for your voice type. That is kind of like just a big starting out in order to find out where your voice will develop. And your voice type does not only depend on how high or low you can sing, but also on the weight of your voice, the agility of your voice, the color of your voice, just the timbre itself. Now, let's say you've been training for many years and let's say you've been taking lessons for five years and you have been training your top and it is very clear that, that there is a clear limit. You don't have soprano top range. Then it might be that you are a mezzo-soprano. Uh, if you're a man, what if you've been training for years and you have been training your top and it's just not, it's obvious that the top is not, like the very high pitches that tenors sing, is not where your strong suit is. It's just not where your voice shines. Maybe it's more the lower range and then it's clear. Maybe you are more of a baritone or even a bass baritone or even a full bass. Now, if you're a full bass, that should be very obvious in the beginning but a lot of voices are not very high or very low and a lot of times it's not extremely obvious in the very beginning. So it is important to always know that your voice will continue changing, not only in puberty, but even throughout life. I have quite a few friends, professional opera singers, who started out in one voice fach and switched over eventually because they found out after training more and more that actually the strength in their voice, maybe they gained at the top or maybe as they grew a little bit older, their lower voice became stronger and it became apparent that maybe they're more of a lower low voice type. In particular, I have a friend, he started out as a baritone and he became a full-fledged tenor. I've had a friend who started out as a mezzo-soprano and then she became a soprano. And it was obvious that that was her strength and she had the coloraturas and all. So it's not written in stone. Even to this day, my voice changes. Whether you're in your 20s, your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s and beyond, your voice likely will continue to change. So 
keep that in mind and next time someone tells you you're this voice type or that voice type just remember that it's not set in stone and it might be where you are right now but you definitely can train to go somewhere else at the same time i want you to also remember that don't do what's completely opposite to what you know what is your natural tendency whatever it is right now you need to respect it so if you want it to be a very high and bright soprano but it's very obvious that right now when you sing that is not what your natural tendency is and you will just hurt yourself if you just push it just don't try to push it thanks for watching today i have an exciting announcement i'm also on tiktok now so if you want to follow me there the handle you will see it right here and um, I'm publishing videos Monday through Friday there, short videos, short quick tips so you can have a quick win. And I'm looking forward to seeing you over there. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Always keep a song in your heart and always keep on singing. Let the sky fall when it crumbles.